remove this inequality, where ABC are positive real numbers. This is a USA Mathematical Olympiad problem. One way for proving the inequality might be to expand both sides of the inequality and then simplify them. But this might be complicated. We notice that the left side of the inequality is a product of three items. And the right side of the inequality is a cube number. This reminds us of considering Holder's inequality with three functions. Suppose P, Q, R, belong to open interval 1, infinity. And 1 over P, plus 1 over Q, plus 1 over R equals 1. F belongs to LP space. G belongs to LQ space. H belongs to LR space. By Holder's inequality, we have one norm of F times G times H is less than or equal to P norm of F times Q norm of G times R norm of H. Now we let P equals Q equals R equals 3. And F takes values A, 1, 1. G takes values 1, B, 1. H takes values 1, 1, C. Then Holder's inequality becomes 1 norm of F times G times H is less than or equal to 3 norm of F times 3 norm of G times 3 norm of H. 1 norm of F times G times H is equal to modulus of A times 1 times 1 plus modulus of 1 times B times 1 plus modulus of 1 times 1 times C. As we are given that A, B, C are positive real numbers. So modulus of A equals A. Modulus of B equals B. Modulus of C equals C. So we can now write equals A plus B, plus C. 3 norm of F equals modulus of A all cubed, plus 1 cubed, plus 1 cubed, all to the power of 1 over 3. Again as A is greater than 0. So we can now write equals A cubed, plus 1, plus 1, all to the power of 1 over 3. Similarly, 3 norm of G equals 1 plus B cubed, plus 1, all to the power of 1 over 3. And 3 norm of H equals 1 plus 1, plus C cubed, all to the power of 1 over 3. By Holder's inequality, we can now write A plus B, plus C is less than or equal to A cubed plus 1, plus 1, all to the power of 1 over 3. Times 1 plus B cubed, plus 1, all to the power of 1 over 3. Times 1 plus 1, plus C cubed, all to the power of 1 over 3. Now cube both sides of the inequality. We have A plus B plus C all cubed is less than or equal to A cubed plus 2, times B cubed plus 2, times C cubed plus 2. That is, A cubed plus 2, times B cubed plus 2, times C cubed plus 2, is greater than or equal to A plus B, plus C all cubed. Now we can see that the right side of the inequality is the same as the right side of the original inequality. So if we prove that left side of the original inequality is greater than or equal to the left side of the inequality 1, then we prove that the original inequality holds. Now we consider A to the power of 5, minus A squared, plus 3, minus A cubed plus 2, which is equal to A to the power of 5, minus A cubed, minus A squared minus 1. A to the power of 5, minus A cubed can be written as A cubed, times A squared minus 1. Now the two terms have a common factor A squared minus 1. So we can now write equals A cubed minus 1, times A squared minus 1 which is greater than or equal to zero. As if A equals 1, then both A cubed minus 1, and A squared minus 1, equal zero. So the product is zero. If A doesn't equal 1, note that we are given that A is greater than zero, then both A cubed minus 1, and A squared minus 1, are either greater than zero, or less than zero. So the product is greater than zero. So we have proved that A to the power of 5, minus a squared, plus 3, is greater than or equal to a cubed plus 2. Similarly, b to the power of 5, minus b squared, plus 3, is greater than or equal to b cubed plus 2.
and c to the power of 5, minus c squared, plus 3, is greater than or equal to c cubed plus 2. Multiply inequality 2 by inequality 3, and by inequality 4. We have a to the power of 5, minus a squared, plus 3, times b to the power of 5, minus b squared, plus 3, times c to the power of 5, minus c squared, plus 3, is greater than or equal to a cubed plus 2, times b cubed plus 2, times c cubed plus 2. By comparing inequality 1 and inequality 5, we have a to the power of 5, minus a squared, plus 3, times b to the power of 5, minus b squared, plus 3, times c to the power of 5, minus c squared, plus 3, is greater than or equal to a plus b, plus c, all cubed. The proof is complete now.